The Lord be with you. Hey, everyone, as we are, we finished up on the catechism and we're going into the end of the church year and the end of the church year and the beginning of the church year are both focused on the end times, which I know everyone is totally excited about. Everyone loves talking about the end times, except people who don't. Uh, the the key aspect of this, of course, is, you know, living in the light of eternity or as I prefer to say, uh, living in the light of the age to come, which began with Jesus and will begin in its fullness and entirety without opposition on the last day. So how do we live with opposition in the light of the fact that one day we will be living in God's kingdom without opposition? So First and Second Thessalonians are a great way to do that. Uh, Paul's going to have lots and lots of illusions about the coming of the Lord, uh, the the last day judgment, the trumpets shall sound, the dead shall be raised, all sorts of good stuff. So uh, join us for Bible study and for worship as we go through Thessalonians beginning this week, the first three weeks of November. God bless. <laughs>